GCSE maths Venn diagram method for lowest common multiple and highest common factor in roughly two minutes. Let's go. Let's say we want to find the lowest common multiple and highest common factor of 40 and 56. Now, how are we going to do this? There's going to be a few different methods. The first one, when it comes to finding the lowest common multiple of the two numbers, we could write out the multiples of 40 and the multiples of 56 and check for the lowest number, which is a multiple of both. We could use a similar approach with the highest common factor. We could write out the factors of 40 and the factors of 56 and work out which the highest one is, which is a factor of both. However, for numbers like this, pretty big numbers, 40 and 56, that's going to be pretty long, especially finding the lowest common multiple. So we're going to use the Venn diagram method. The first step of our Venn diagram method is going to be to write out a factor tree for both of our numbers, 40 and 56. Let's do that now. And you can see that we've also written on this Venn diagram. Now, how are we going to fill this in? In order to work out the numbers which are going to be in the middle of the Venn diagram, we're going to look for the prime factors which are in both of the factor trees. We can see that both factor trees have a 2, a 2, and a 2. Here we have a 2, a 2, and a 2. So we're going to write three 2s in our middle section, 2, 2, 2. And then on our left-hand section, what are we going to have? We can see that 40 has a factor of 5, but 56 doesn't have a prime factor of 5. So we're going to write that in the left. And likewise, on the right-hand side, we can see that 56 has a prime factor of 7, but 40 doesn't. So we're going to write that on the right. Now, how are we going to do it? In order to find our lowest common multiple, we're going to multiply together all of the numbers in our Venn diagram. So we can say that our lowest common multiple is going to be equal to five times by two times by two times by two times by seven, multiplying those together. Two times two times two is eight times five is 40 times seven. We're gonna have 280. And what about our highest common factor? In order to find that, we're going to multiply only the numbers which are in the middle of the Venn diagram. So we can say that our highest common factor for 40 and 56 is going to be equal to two times by two times by two, which is going to be eight, our answer. Like I say, you could do this by writing out the multiples of these numbers and the factors of these numbers, but I thought I would show you the Venn diagram method because you can use that in any situation.